Um, I'm gonna get my suit. Just, I'm gonna go to the museum. I just want to see the anglerfish thing. Go see the anglerfish exhibit. <laughs> Okay, so this thing is, this is one, it's just very big now. Attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. Oh. I swear someone talked about anglerfish being, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Feldspar maybe, did. Feldspar Fel probably said something about it. Someone said something about anglerfish and movement and noise. Yeah, that sounds like something Feldspar probably said. Yeah. Yeah, well, with his, his little folksy, ah, well, he's, this is how I've been surviving down here. Let's stall the anglerfish. just moves around. I don't know if this is going to be the main, like, this one's going to have a lesson, quote-unquote. Hey! really sure what more to do right now. I mean, I know there's plenty more to, that we can do, plenty places that we should go. I mean that more in the sense of for us at this very moment in recording. I guess the last thing, if, if we want to try like one last thing today, would be to recall the uh, ship to Ember Twin. See if we can find the... Uh, and, yeah, and just see what's inside it. See if we can find the controls for it, I guess. Yeah. God, I'm sorry if I was totally wrong about the anglerfish noise and movement thing. I swear I remember it from somewhere, but I could also be it totally wrong. No, it, I mean, it totally it, it seemed like it accurate. Yeah. yeah, it definitely seemed accurate. I think Feldspar said it. Yeah, that could be it. Like, Feldspar was... Ramble Island. No, that's Giant Steep. Where did we find him? I guess, let's see the entries. Feldspar's camp. What did he tell us? Crash the ship inside an angler for skeleton. I don't know. All right, well, let's, yeah, we'll finish up just seeing if we can get into the Ember Twin. Yeah, why not? So we want the the gravity cannon. Yeah. So that we can call back the shuttle. Where's the sun? There's the sun. At this point, I think we've landed on every planet. The only place we haven't managed to get to is the sun station. And that's on. And that we get there from Ash Twin, I think, is what they said. Uh, it it's one of the right, twins. Yeah. It's one of the twins. There's the cannon. Okay. All right. So we need to. Oh, we need to go underground to reach it, don't we? Or no, we can just kind of jump in and do it that way. It looks like we can jump in from here. Well, 
we definitely have not been through to here before. Sunless City. I thought we did go to the Sunless City. We did, but we didn't come to here. We came out like yeah, a different this way. Is... Activate. Call the shuttle. Okay. Resting at the comet. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so let's call the shuttle home. <laughs> I know you said call the shuttle home, but I heard let's call the shuttle a hoe. <laughs> How rude. A shuttle ain't shit. <laughs> you think we did this at some point, did we? We did this with a different one. I fear our situation may be dire. Pi, Poke, and I landed here on this comet not long after its arrival in the star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings come or, coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface oh. either. Should I leave the shuttle and look for them? I want to follow a protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Come back to me safely, my friends. Oh. 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 I mean, all of them. Have so, been... are we gonna need to get down in that fissure on the comet? Probably. It, it sounds like there's more there than uh, we. But that makes sense, though. That's what we figured. But we can try to call the shuttle. We can now. launch the shuttle again. Did we ever figure out, like, what does these controls even do? Because, like, did that just fire the gravity cannon? Are we just flying out to space? Yeah. However. I was going to say, Where are we going to it? intersect the, the interloper? But... Time. I don't think so. If you fire it at the right time, you absolutely could, though. No, we're not going to an interloper. All right, let me warp us back. What was this way? Not sure. So that fires us. I think that one's just straight up the brakes. Oh, yeah. The brakes, otherwise known as we're getting sucked in on the gravity because we didn't really go far enough. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to, uh... We're taking an impromptu journey over to Ashtwin. Oh. Wait, I don't want that. I... Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Take us... Actually, take us back. Okay. So we learned... We learned a little of what's in there. Uh, do we want to just head back to the sun? Do we want to head back to the comet now with the with this out of the way? It's on the farthest part of its trip, but that gives us plenty of time to get there before the sun. Or before it comes around to the sun again. I don't think we've spent already a half... Or whatever. Just... Oh, we can't... We couldn't go into the sunless city from this direction anyway. There's... Too many cacti that will po puncture our suit. Um, I do have to figure out how to get myself back up to the. Bye. Do we just like get up on the ship and then use it as like a platform? Launch it straight into the sun. That'll melt the ice. Alright, I have a dumb idea. Let me just launch this. And then... Get the brakes. Oh no, I'm, I'm too far away. I wanted to just, like, launch it a little bit. And then just hop out the bottom. But no. Alright, so... I guess I'll platform up this. Try to. Ship. Oh yeah, that's not there so bad. Go. The gravity here is actually quite low, dis despite the fact that it's right next to the sun. Okay, interloper. Do not go towards the sun. <laughs> uh, I have to try to spot this thing.
Okay, it's coming our way. Yeah, it's coming this way. It's still far out, though. It's probably on the other side of the sun. I mean, if we wait for it to come all the way out here to us on this side, we probably won't be able to get on it. Or at least not easily. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm planning to try to go to it. I am quite high up. Oh, I need to, like, point it down more? There it is. Uh, slow down, come on. I put way too much boost. Brittle Hollow is still pretty put together, so we I think we still have a, a little bit of time left. I don't know. Maybe not very much. But I guess we could see what hap we could see where the interloper ends its journey before the sun explodes. Slow down, slow down, slow down. You There's the fissure. Way too much gas. God, Wait. I'm just like, how are we going to do the anglerfish without just being the worst for our, our viewers and just having to do it over and over? That's so, called that's what, editing. That's, that's yeah. what editing is for. Just don't right, say anything funny while we're doing it. Yeah, all right, let's book it to the other fucking side of this thing. Uh, no can do everything I say is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, no, the fissure isn't here. The fissure's on the it's other on the side. Top. That's right, he said it's the side that faces the sun. Oh, we're almost we're here. almost here. Oh, there we, the go, there, we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. We should have stayed over this side. Shoot. Oh. Always turned to face the sun. There goes my ship. Uh, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We just gotta get in. I... Wherever here is. There. Whee! Ghost matter. Okay, so okay, that's... So uh, go down there. That way is trouble. It came out the other side. Ooh, something. Nope, that's just a tree. There is a recording here. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center. I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we'll lose communication entirely if you go any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us. We'll return the moment we identify the source. Be cautious. Is the, is the interloper the source of ghost matter? This is like huge concentrations Hazards. of ghost matter. More okay, than I can't go down that one. That one looks okay. I yeah, think the end as long as you don't go down the hole that opens okay. up down there. That yeah, that one. It's fine. it was this one. Shoot, I moved. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think There's the inner hole is the that... source of the ghost matter. Yeah, get ready to do some sick platforming, is the main thing. Alright. Actually... Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, this is the source. But how do I go you further? Know, did we ever actually play around with Ghost Matter? Do we know how much it'll just fucking kill you? Um, I don't. A lot? Is my assumption? No, but I mean, like, could you spend any amount of time in it, or is it? Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
I mean, we've been avoiding it like the plague, so I think we don't. I think it will just kill you. But I'm laughing at this because I'm, I'm literally doing just like, I don't know. I'm just having, this is silly and fun, and I like it. Which Ooh. version of the slide theme is playing in your head right now? <laughs> oh. <sighs> okay, not down there. That's the core, I think. Oh it's just no, no, no! It's more new stuff. Whoa, wait! It's one of the nomads. That's one of them. They died. They died here. We must go deeper. Oh, that's the oh, core. Oh yeah, there's the core. There's the core. There's the other one. Just ghost matter. Ship log oh. updated. Oh. Recording device. Yeah. This is where the ghost matter came from. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather, the source is what's from what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. It should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. But I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it could almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Or still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Pi, whatever the matter inside this stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within this would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously. And the pressure is still building as the comet approaches this star system. Returns to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Okay. This is what's causing it all. This giant, dense ghost matter core. Is there anything else in here before I, like, That's touch it? That's why we're dying. So, is the interloper crashing into the sun at the end of everything? Yeah. Yes. I think it is. Clearly, we hang out in here and see what happens at the end of the cycle, assuming our oxygen doesn't run out. We're actually okay for oxygen right now. Can I touch this, though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because this open. isn't. Yeah, it is. This, this is so, the compressed version. What's on the out, what does the outside of it look like? Since they were talking about how it's. Like a flower, almost. Hmm. Yeah, I think we stay here. We see how it ends from the comet. I mean, honestly, I'm not sure how I get back out. The ice was pushing me down here. Also, you lost your ship. Also, I lost yeah, my I ship. Yeah, the ship went into the sun, so we're we're hanging out here regardless. Yeah. Well, we've learned why we're dying. Maybe part of it. I think it's it's definitely part of the reason. Do you think that they managed to construct a shelter somewhere that we could find and like Go ride out the supernova? Well, the maybe their findings are what caused them to go and start doing the ash, ash planet project. Did we read that one? I think we did. I think I bumped it. Oh, my fuel level. Yeah, this is the thing. Okay. Alright, well, you know, I guess, I guess let's go... Well, we gotta hope that yeah. our oxygen does last. I don't really have anything else I can do. <laughs> well, I guess we can, like, think about it while we wait for the end. Three minutes. All right, solar system. All the way to go. 
I thought there were trees. Like there was some trees in the different in the different camp. Maybe I can get out of here, but I don't know. What would be better, staying here to look at the ghost matter or trying we're to We're not going to get out. We don't have enough fuel. No, I mean going back up to get Oh, you're right. I'm just going to be stuck here. You have no way of refueling. Well, I'm all the way to go. The sun. Yeah. All right, so hopefully we get to uh, the supernova <clears throat> before we lose all of our After oxygen. After going out with the bang so many times with the anglerfish, we are now going out with a whimper. Yeah. I mean, where are we in the cycle? I don't know. Like, Must be towards the <laughs> end. A part of a comet is where we are. <laughs> I mean, the interloper's on its way back. Yeah, it like, sure I looks think, like, based on this, that what ends up happening is that this comet, filled with ghost matter, flies directly into the sun, and then... Bad news bears for everybody. Yeah, I just feel like I would hear the music by now. No, because I think the, the music starts up when it hits the sun. Oh, maybe. Yeah, like, this is, this is what's triggering it to go supernova. So we're going to probably die when it hits the sun. If we don't want to have oxygen before then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, it hits. It hits the sun. <laughs> it hits the sun and it causes supernova. Okay, so the probe tracking module that we launch or that it's launched is not the thing that causes it. No. The whatever the eye of the universe is does not cause it. The quantum moon does not cause it. The interloper actually crashing into the sun blows us all up. Okay then. Well, we know the how. Unfortunately, we don't know the uh, anything else yet. Yeah. Ugh, immediately. <laughs> wait, how? Wait, can I just like? Oh no, I was gonna say. Can I just like get a whole bunch of them, but they disappear. One of these days, you're gonna figure out how close you can get it without it burning. Lighting on fire and actually toast a fucking marshmallow. Alright, so, well, we know a lot now. We know things! Yep. What happens if I doze off? Ah, uh, it is past time. I told you I figured that's what it was, just in case you get somewhere you need some time to pass. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that does it for us. One of us needs to go get on the road, so we're gonna call it here. I feel like we did enough it. We did a decent amount of stuff for today anyway, so. Got eaten by a fish like three times! Four, I think. <laughs> But yeah, four and then died in a supernova before the supernova. We die in a supernova. That's nothing unusual. Okay, we died in the sun before the supernova. We triggered the supernova. Us personally. <laughs> Progress! <laughs> All right. Let's just see what we learned today. According to well, our... <laughs> our thing. We learned about the ruptured core. Yeah. Okay, but it looks like we learned everything there is to know about the ruptured core, so we don't have to go back and die in the part of a comet again. <laughs> yeah. Alright. That does it for us, then. Thank you all for watching. And uh, we will see you again next time.
with more Outer Wilds and whatever other future plans we have here in this solar system. Space. It's fun. A frontier. Take it easy, folks. I'm going to be laughing about how many times the fish killed us forever. <laughs> <laughs>